Guruji. We'll uh, start our satsang. Uh, Usha will do it first. I'll come and come back later. I think there should be only one person here so you can look at Guruji too. <laughs> Otherwise we'll block Guruji. <laughs> Jai Guruji, uh, thank you so much for inviting both of us, MPG, MP Uncle and, and me on this forum, on this special, special uh, Valentine's Day. Aaj to kitna achha, yahan subay subay saath baje ki subay hai and bahar pura baraf se dhaka hua hai Seattle aur aisa lag raha hum idham Himalaya mein hi baithe hain Guruji ke saath aur आप सब के साथ ये शेयर कर रहे हैं बहुत बड़ा विंटर स्ट्रॉम यहाँ आया है कल से और सुबह सुबह सात बजे गुरुजी इतना प्यार से इतना एक्साइटमेंट में आप सब के साथ आज हम शेयर करने के लिए आज फिर आपके सामने उपस्थित हुए हैं और इतनी खुशी होती है अतुल जी थैंक यू सो मच मेरे ख्याल से सबसे पहले जो मैंने अपना लाइव सत्संग किया है वो अतुल जी की हेल्प से ही किया है और थैंक यू सो मच अतुल जी फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी टू दिस लाइव सत्संग मैंने कभी नहीं किया था इस तरह से मीडिया पे या इस पर और आई वॉज हेजिटेंट एंड विद अतुल जीज हेल्प आई लर्न दिस सो आई विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटफुल टू अतुल जी फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी हाउ टू डू सत्संग ऑन लाइव सत्संग ऑन फेसबुक एंड उसके बाद दस नो स्टॉपिंग गुरु जी हर जगह ब्यूटीफुली सब कुछ करा रहे हैं एंड थैंक यू टू गुरु जी एंड टू अतुल जी एंड टू ऑल ऑफ अस ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर वॉचिंग जो आप सारे इकट्ठा हुए हैं और आज वैलेंटाइंस डे एक दूसरे के साथ मना रहे हैं सबसे तो अच्छी बात है कि हम गुरु जी के साथ सुबह अपनी वैलेंटाइंस शुरू कर रहे हैं सुबह सुबह एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक हीयर इन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग हीयर इन सियाटल इससे अच्छा क्या हो सकता है यू आर वेरी ब्लेस्ड थैंक यू तो मैं अपने कुछ मैंने कई बार सत्संग शेयर किया है आपके प्लेटफॉर्म पर पर एवरी टाइम इज सो एक्साइटिंग वेन एवर आई गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी जब भी मैं मुझे ये मौका मिलता है तो I become like a small child. ऐसा लगता है कि गुरु जी के बारे में इतनी इतनी चीज़ें शेयर करनी है इतनी इतनी चीज़ें बतानी हैं इतनी इतनी अपने खुद के एक्सपीरियंसिस जो गुरु जी ने दिए हैं यूजली आई ऑलवेज शेयर माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस मेरे अपनी इमिजिएट फैमिली के एक्सपीरियंसिस उससे जो हम अपने इनर मोस्ट फीलिंग्स आपके साथ पहुँचा सकते हैं शेयर कर सकते हैं सो so, आप को शुरू में बस एक शॉर्ट में बताऊंगी कि किस तरह से जैसे गुरुजी से हम जुड़े और बचपन से ही मैं शिव जी की और माता रानी की भक्त रही हूँ बचपन से ही मुझे भक्ति मार्ग पर मुझे तो ऐसा लगता है मेरा जन्म ही हुआ है खाली पूजा पाठ करने के लिए मेरे पेरेंट्स भी थोड़ा परेशान रहते थे कि इतना ज़्यादा इस यंग एज में इतनी ज़्यादा इसको लगन है बट दैट वॉज दैट वॉज द वही एक चीज थी जो मुझे इतनी अंदर से खुशी देती थी और अभी भी देती है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई थिंक स्लोली स्लोली जब टाइम आया तो गुरु जी ने अपने दरबार में बुलाया एंड जिनकी मैं आराधना करती थी शिव जी को सोमवार का व्रत रखती थी जल चढ़ाती थी और मतलब अंदर ही अंदर उनसे प्रार्थना करती थी आपके दर्शन कब होंगे कब होंगे एंड वो जो मेरे आराध्य थे महादेव उन्होंने ऐसे ऐसे ये लीला रचते हैं शिव जी आप शिव पुराण में आप क्या तो है ये शिव पुराण का कि किस तरह से वो लीला रचते हैं जब हमारी हमारे कार्मिक अकाउंट से जो जो हमें दुख प्राप्त होते हैं वो इसलिए प्राप्त होते हैं कि हम उनसे और जुड़ सकें तो अगर आपकी लाइफ में कुछ भी दुख हो रहा हो तो आप कभी भी हिम्मत ना हारें वो सब कुछ आपको गुरुजी से इतनी क्लोज ले जाएंगे इतने आपका रिलेशन स्ट्रॉन्ग कर देंगे फेथ स्ट्रॉन्ग कर देंगे एंड दैट इज़ द रीज़न 
खुशी में हम इतना नहीं याद करते हैं पर जब हम हमें दुखों ने घेरा होता है तब हम अपने दिल की पुकार जो गुरु जी को तक जाती है तो उसी हालत में गुरु जी ने अपने दरबार में बुलाया मेरी बेटी की आसमा की बहुत प्रॉब्लम थी और किस तरह से गुरु जी ने मेरी प्रार्थना सुनी जो मैं दिल ही दिल शिव जी से महादेव से या माता रानी से प्रे करती थी और उन्होंने अपने दरबार में बुलाया 98 में दिसंबर में हम सिंगापुर में उस समय बेस थे मेरे हस्बैंड का और सीज असाइनमेंट है एम का तो हम सारे सियाटल से ही वहाँ मूव करे थे 96 में एंड 98 में गुरु जी ने अपने दरबार में बुलाया एंड दैट वाज द चेंज ऑफ आर डेस्टिनी जैसे कहते हैं ना एक एक नया जन्म होता है पूर्व जन्म होता है तो ऐसा लग रहा था कि साक्षात भगवान मिल गए हैं क्योंकि आप जब आप पूरी उम्र जब ढूंढते हैं भगवान को और उनकी अनुभूति करना चाहते हैं और जब वो सामने आ जाते हैं तो आपकी सोल बता देती है आपको वो अनुभूतियाँ होने लगती हैं दैट यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एंड दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट हैपन विथ मी देर इज नो डाउट हुज गुरु जी क्योंकि गुरु जी ने इतने एक्सपीरियंसेस दिए क्योंकि ये कौन हो सकता है जो बिना बताए आपकी दिल की बात सब कुछ जानता है और कौन हो सकता है जो कहीं भी आप रहे हैं उनकी नज़रें आपके ऊपर है उनको सब कुछ मालूम रहता है सो गुरु जी इज ओमनी पोटेंट ओमनी सेंट एंड ओमनी प्रेजेंट सब जगह मतलब हम सिंगापुर से आते थे और गुरु जी सब कुछ बता देते थे कि कहाँ हम गए थे क्या किया हमने हमारी डेली एक्टिविटीज़ क्या होती हैं हमारे दिमाग में क्या चल रहा होता है जो मन में होता था वही गुरु जी उसको रिपीट कर देते थे और उसके बाद जिस तरह से मेरी बेटी का आसमा ठीक किया ये कौन कोई नहीं कर सकता था हम यूएस में वो पली यूएस में ही बहुत साल हम थे यहाँ पर और सब कुछ ट्रीटमेंट उसको दिखा दिया था उसको होम्योपैथिक आयुर्वेदिक इंडिया का जो है और यहाँ यू का बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट जो उस समय था कुछ भी नहीं उसको फ़ायदा हुआ और भी उसका एस्मा अटैक सिवियर होता गया होता गया यहाँ तक कि उसको हिस्ट्री वॉज हुक्ट ऑन स्टेरॉयड एंड एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड नेबलाइजर एंड पफ्स सो मैनी एलर्जीज सो एक माँ के हिसाब से आप समझ सकते हैं कि कितना वो कितना मुश्किल टाइम था वो और उसमें जब आपको एक रोशनी दिखती है गुरु जी लाइट गुरु जी केम इन आर लाइफ एज ए डिवाइन लाइट जिन्होंने हमें राह दिखाया और हमारी बेटी का आसमा ऐसे क्षण भर में गुरु जी ने ठीक कर दिया गुरु जी तो यूँ ही कहते थे जा कल्याण कर देते हैं वो ठीक हो जाए हो गई ये ऐसे गुरु आपको कहाँ मिलेंगे और नॉन नज्यूमिंग गुरु जी तो कभी भी नहीं कहते थे ये करो वो करो गुरु जी कहते थे जो तुम कर रहे हो वो करते रहो बस मेरे लिए थोड़ा सा समय निकालो गुरु जी खाली हमारा प्यार चाहते थे क्योंकि देखिए गुरु जी के दरबार में सब मांगने आते थे गुरु जी कहते थे बहुत मुट्ठी भर लोग हैं जो मेरे से प्यार करते हैं और मेरे खाली मेरे दर्शन के लिए आते हैं एंड जो उस भाव से आता था गुरु जी उसको पहचान लेते थे और उनको भी बड़ी खुशी होती थी ऐसे संगत के साथ बहुत खुश होते थे गुरु जी जब आप भाव देते हैं उनको प्यार देते हैं विदाउट एनी डिजायर्स विदाउट एनी वॉन्ट्स विदाउट एनी डिमांड्स तो यूँ ही गुरु जी से हमारा सफ़र शुरू हुआ एंड इट वॉज इट वॉज जस्ट आई आई के नॉट एक्सप्रेस वो तो आप किस तरह से अपने अंदर की भावना है तो हम नहीं आपको मैं महसूस कर सकती हूँ और होपली आप सब भी महसूस कर रहे होंगे आप सब जुड़े हुए हैं गुरु जी से और एक्चुअली मैं तो सोचती हूँ कि आप सब बहुत धन हैं यू आर मच मच अहेड ऑफ अस बिकॉज हमने तो गुरुजी को देख के ही उनके साथ जुड़े और उन, उन, उन पर पेत आया पर आप सब लोग बगैर देखे गुरुजी को इतना जुड़े हुए हैं इतना फेत है आप सबको सो आई गेस आई एम लर्निंग अ लॉट फ्रॉम द न्यू संगत आप सब से एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी कि ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड कहाँ कहाँ दुबई में भी सारी जगह वर्ल्ड में गुरु जी फैले हुए हैं उनकी सुगंध फैली हुई सब जगह आज का दिन 
गुरु जी का प्यार वाला दिन है गुरु जी कितना प्यार करते थे संगत में तो संगत से तो मैं वही कुछ शेयर करूँगी जो इट जस्ट डिनोज द लव ऑफ योर गुरु और ऐसे जब मेरी बेटी ठीक हो गई उसका आसमा बिल्कुल ठीक हो गया एक भी पफ उस दिन से इट वॉज आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इट वॉज दिसंबर ट्वेंटी एथ नाइनटीन और आज का दिन गुरु जी की ऐसी कृपा कि उसने एक बार भी पफ नहीं लिया जो कि हमेशा इन्हें रह पर ही हुक रहती थी तो गुरु जी भगवान नहीं है तो कौन है और उसके बाद हमारा सफ़र गुरु जी के साथ गुरु जी ने इतने एक्सपीरियंसेस दिए इतनी अनुभूतियाँ दिया दी इतना प्यार दिया कि वापस आने का मन नहीं होता था ऐसा लगता था हम यहीं रह जाएं गुरु जी के पास ही रह जाएं क्योंकि आप जब रियलाइज करते हैं डिविनिटी को एंड वेन योर सोल रिकगनाइज दैट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सेपरेट बिकॉज दैट इज़ द पर्पज ऑफ आर एक्सिस्टेंस That is the purpose why we came on this earth to fulfill our karmic account. And उसके साथ अगर आपको divine मिल जाते हैं तो आप क्या क्या और चाहते हैं That was the purpose to to come and meet our Maker, and our Maker was right there amongst us, Mahadev. सामने बैठ कर के What else did we need? Nothing. नो बडी वॉन्टेड टू लीव गुरु जी और गुरु जी के दरबार में इतना सुंदर गुरु जी क्रिएट करते थे वो एम्बियन जैसे वो स्वर्ग में जैसे सचखंड में हम बैठे हों इतनी अच्छी सुगंध इतना अच्छा वातावरण द होल एम्बियंस वॉज सो आई वुड से इट वॉज इट मेड एवरीबडी वेल लाइक वी एट होम एट होम भगवान के साथ दस वे वी बिलोंग बिकॉज गुरु जी तो नॉन जजमेंटल और अनकंडीशनल लव देते थे हर सब को हमारी सब कमियों के साथ ही हमें एक्सेप्ट कर कर दिया गुरु जी ने और कभी भी हमें गुरु जी कभी किसी को कुछ नहीं कहते थे तो ऐसे ही इतना बे इंतहा प्यार दिया गुरु जी ने गुरु जी बस एक शब्द में अगर मैं गुरु जी को डिस्क्राइब करूँगी सो आई वुड ओनली से ही वॉज द एपिटोम ऑफ डिवाइन लव and today is the day of love and divine love सबसे ऊँचा लव है हमारे अपने spouses के साथ हमारे family के साथ हमारे friends के साथ we all love each other पर वो जो divine love जो परमात्मा के साथ है जो गुरु जी के साथ है that is for our soul and when गुरु जी एक्सेप्ट us and propels us तो आपकी जिंदगी में चाहे जितनी भी प्रॉब्लम्स हो Without any reason, you're always happy, because Guru Ji is just filling your soul with lot of love, lot of positivity, and he's the reason कि हम सारे आगे बढ़ते जा रहे हैं. No matter what is happening in our lives, so you ही हमारा पूरा journey चलती रही. And I will just share one or two experiences. Uh, I would like MPG to share more. So. मैंने तो कई बार शेयर किया है तो बस वन थिंग दैट वैन आई थिंक ऑफ लव आई आई रिमेंबर वन बहुत एक्सपीरियंसेस हैं पर एक जो मेरे दिल के बहुत करीब है वो मैं आज शेयर करूँगी आपसे और वैन आई रियलाइज दैट आई हैव मेट माय मेकर दैट आई हैव मेट माय मास्टर आई हैव मेट what i have been looking for all my life who i was praying for is right in front of me my only desire was to serve him but i was very shy aur guru ji se to koi baat nahi kar sakta tha i really wanted to go and hug him but i was shy i didn't do that I used to see so many aunties going and hugging him, and I used to just think they are so lucky. But I could never do that because I had that that garima of Guruji, garima of Guruji. Guruji is God. I I cannot even touch him. 
गुरु जी इतने सुंदर इतने प्योर इतने डिवाइन आई स्टिल फील दैट उनको छूने से ही हम गुरु जी के हाथ गंदे हो जाएंगे एंड वन डे वी हैड कम फ्रॉम सिंगापुर एंड उस समय सिंगापुर में बहुत सार फैला हुआ था सार आप सबको मालूम है एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी हार्ड टाइम एंड मेंटली एंड फिजिकली सब बहुत ही उस समय आज की तरह नहीं है इतना मीडिया है सर इसमें सब आ जाता है खाली टी वी होता था और टी वी में दिन रात वही न्यूज़ आती थी एवरी थिंग वॉज क्लोज नथिंग वॉज ओपन स्कूल व क्लोज एंड वी कुड नॉट इवन गो आउट एंड गुरु जी से बस हम गुरु जी की ही उनके शब्द टेप उस समय टेप्स होते थे सुनते रहते थे एंड एंड फाइनली माई हजबेंड सेट वी शुड गो टू डेली एंड बहुत ही मुश्किल टाइम था किसी तरह से मास्क लगा के वी ऑल वेंट टू गुरु जी बट वी डेन वॉन्ट टू गो टू संगत बिकॉज वी डेन नो वी वॉन्ट टू क्वारंटीन आ सब तो हम वहाँ होटल में इम्पीरियर में ठहरे हुए थे अपने पेरेंट्स के पास भी नहीं गए एंड वी थाट विल स्टे हेयर फॉर टेन डेज एंड देन विल गो टू गुरु जी संगत बट दिल नहीं मान रहा था वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गो एंड हैव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ गुरु जी सो बहुत ही एक दो दिन के बाद हम लोग गए और डरते डरते एकदम जाके पीछे नहीं तो हमेशा मेरा मन होता था मैं गुरु जी के सामने बैठूँ एकदम जाके पीछे बैठ गई मैं एंड वी थाट नो बट इवन नोटिस आई हैड कवर्ड माई हैड जैसा आई ऑलवेज इंस्टीट्यूट फ्रंट ऑफ गुरु जी एंड वी वॉल सिटिंग एंड लंगर हुआ मैंने लंगर खाया एंड एंड लंगर खा के मैं जैसे ही उठी बाहर जाके हाथ धोना होता था जैसे मैं उठी मुझे याद है गुरु जी बैठे थे एंड मैं इनका गांधी जी बैठी हुई थी उनके पास एंड शी लुक एट मी एंड शी स्क्रीम डैट मी शी सेट उषा आंटी कम हियर कम हियर गुरु जी वॉज टेलिंग मी दैट यू जस्ट केम फ्राम सिंगापुर एंड आई वॉज शॉक्ट आई आई नॉट टोल्ड एनी बडी पर गुरु जी तो सबको जानते हैं ना हर एक भक्त की she connected in guru ji and he knows everything and he, he she said that guru ji told me that you had just arrived from singapore and guru ji was so happy to see me and he said aaja aaja and my hands were dirty because maine us samay langar khaya tha and i said guru ji main bhi haath dho ke aati hu i didn't want to touch him I didn't want to be close to him to tell you the truth. I wanted to be away from Guruji because I didn't know if we were the carriers. I I didn't want to just be there even. I was feeling very guilty at that time. And मैं बाहर गई मैंने बहुत अच्छी तरह से हाथ धोए अपने and I came back and and Guruji gave so much love that day. So much love Guruji के आँखों से. and guru ji gave me his feet and he said chal meri seva kar and i didn't want to touch guru ji and i started pressing his legs and i was crying and i was thinking ki guru ji i'm so lucky aap main mera pura dar jo tha jo mere man mein jo ek hichak thi sab kuch wahan mere aansu se sab beh gaya nothing was there within me everything was empty and guru ji was filling with his love he just he was so kind and smiling the whole time and menka ji was telling me that how guru ji was remembering us and he was saying that we all are coming here to guru ji he knows everything ek ek bhakt ki ke bare mein guru ji ko sab kuch maloom hai because he is bhagwan he is mahadev he is parmeshwar he is the ultimate that day i can never forget and uske baad another time Uh, just last sang- satsang i will share this that is very dear to my heart guru ji ki beantaha pyar guru ji ka beantaha love jo hai guru ji ka wo shabdon mein main bayan nahi kar sakti i can only feel it and and realize his love is always around even now every single day he gives such subtle ex- messages experiences this just then me mera mera man kabhi bhi udaas hoga guru ji koi na koi way mein apni presence dikha dete hain he is always there always so one day i was sitting at 
एम्पायर स्टेट एंड एंड काफ़ी गुरु जी की कृपा रही है गुरु जी ने हम सबको इतना प्यार दिया कि हम जब सिंगापुर से आते थे तो गुरु जी हम सबको बड़ी रात तक बैठाए रखते थे बिकॉज दैट वॉज द ओनली पर्पज प्लीज टू कम फ्राम सिंगापुर टू डेली टू हैव गुरु जी दर्शन आई गुरु जी न्यू दैट दैट वॉज द ओनली रीज़न एंड गुरु जी वहाँ पूरे टाइम दो ढाई घंटे लगते थे हमें नोएडा से आने में एंड गुरु जी मालूम था गुरु जी को वहीं बैठाए रखते थे बड़ी रात तक एंड गुरु जी आफ्टर संगत गुरु जी यूज टू सिट ऑन द कारपेट एंड टॉक टू अस लाइक अ फादर लाइक अ फ्रेंड लाइक द मोस्ट एल्डेस्ट मेम्बर ऑफ अ फैमिली हमारे लेवल में आके बातें करते थे गुरु जी तो एक दिन गुरु जी अपने आसन में बैठे थे एंड बहुत कम संगत बची थी एंड मैं जाके पीछे बैठ गई कि मैं देखती थी कि जोशी आंटी और सिंगला आंटी ये सब किचन में लगी रहती हैं एंड मेरा मन होता था मैं भी गुरु जी के लिए कुछ सेवा करूं और ये सेवा भाव भी गुरु जी ही डालते हैं जब आपके मन में इतना प्यार आता है अपने गुरु के लिए तो यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग सो so, पर समझ नहीं आता था कि क्या कर सकते हैं वहाँ पे मुझे मालूम नहीं था क्या यहाँ वहाँ का प्रोसेस है तो मैं पीछे किचन के पास जाके बैठ गई मैंने सोचा आंटी जब बाहर आएंगी क्योंकि नो बडी वॉज अलाउड टू गो इन द किचन इट वॉज लाइक अ ओनली फॉर सेवादार तो मैं कभी अंदर गई नहीं थी तो मैं बाहर किचन के बाहर बैठी हुई थी वेट कर रही थी एंड गुरु जी अपने आसन में बैठे थे कुछ संगत वहाँ उनके अराउंड की बात कर रहे थे एंड जोशी आंटी किचन से निकली सो आई अप्रोच जो है आने का आंटी नमस्ते आंटी मैं आ, कुछ सेवा कर सकती हूँ आपकी हेल्प कर सकती हूँ जूठे बर्तन धो दूँ कुछ कर दूँ तो वो कहने लगी कि यहाँ पर तो वही होता है जो गुरु जी कहते हैं आप गुरु जी से जाके पूछ लीजिए तो आई वॉज आई नव आई यूज टू टॉक टू गुरु जी आई वॉज वेरी शाय टू रेली से मच ओनली वैन गुरु जी यूज टू आस पहले शुरू में बहुत बात करते थे गुरु जी एंड देन देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन गुरु जी टोल में कि आज के बाद हम बात नहीं करेंगे मुझे तेरे बारे में सब कुछ मालूम है एंड आज से हम टेलीपैथी में बात करेंगे सो सिंस दैट डे आई एव नेवर आस्ट एनी थिंग टू गुरु जी इवन नाउ आई एव नेवर आस्ट गुरु जी ओनली हिज ब्लेसिंग्स एंड दैट इज़ इट सो आई वॉज जस्ट आई डेंट नो वॉट टू डू सो आई आई सेट नहीं नहीं मैं नहीं पूछ सकती गुरु जी से आई वॉज जस्ट सिटिंग देयर एंड शी सर नहीं नहीं आप जाइए एंड गुरु जी इतनी दूर बैठे थे अपने आसन में एंड गुरु जी इज़ एवरी वेयर ही इज़ हेयरिंग एवरी थिंग इट डजेंट मैटर वे यू आर एंड गुरु जी इज जस्ट गॉट अप फ्राम हिज आसन एंड आई स्टार्टड वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स मी एंड ही सज एंड ही स्टूड इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई स्टूड अप एंड आई सट आंटी कहती हैं पूछिए पूछिए शी स्टार्टड एल्बोइंग मी एंड आई मैंने कुछ पूछा नहीं मैं नीचे देखने लगी गुरु जी कहते हैं कि पूछो आंटी उषा आंटी क्या पूछना है and he told asked me twice so i said uh, very meekly bahut hi dark se maine guru ji ka guru ji koi koi seva mil sakti hai main yahan jhoothe bartan dho dun kuch kar dun and guru ji just looked at me and he laughed smile and he said uh, nahi tujhe koi lod nahi hai tujhe aish kar and i felt very small at that day to tell you the truth i was not convinced i said guru ji I'm not even used. I'm not even capable of doing any seva for my guru. Maybe I, I'm full of my own faults. I have to clean my soul up. I have to sit in meditation more. I have to realize lot of things. That was my thought. So I went back. I started sitting in meditation. I used to get up early morning and try to change my my life a little bit. बिकॉज गुरु जी आपको दर्शन दिखाते हैं आपको राह दिखाते हैं एंड यू स्टार्ट रियलाइजिंग दैट जब आपके गुरु कह रहे हैं कि जा ऐश कर तुझे लो नहीं है देन आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड ऐश कर आई ओनली अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई एम नॉट केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग एनी सेवा सो दैट वॉज माई थाट प्रोसेस एट दैट टाइम पर गुरु जी को तो सब कुछ मालूम है ना एंड वन डे जब सिंगापुर से आए तो एक दिन आई वॉज आई वॉज अलोन एट दैट टाइम एम पी जी वॉज ट्रैवलिंग एंड माई सन वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट वेल सो ही वॉज नॉट विथ मी आई वॉज अलोन एम्पायर स्टेट में बहुत देर तक बैठे थे एंड गुरु जी लुक एट मी एंड ही टोल मी कल तो पाँच बजे आ जाइ आई वॉज वेरी 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 हैप्पी दैट गुरु जी हैज़ इज गोइंग टू गिव मी सम स्पेशल टाइम 
एंड आई वेंट बैक मैं रात भर सो नहीं पाई एंड मैंने अपने ड्राइवर से कहा कि तुम दो बजे आ जाना क्योंकि ढाई घंटे लगते हैं आने में एंड गुरु जी हैज़ गिवन मी टाइम सो हैव टू बी देर बिफोर द टाइम जब भगवान आपको अपॉइंटमेंट देते हैं आपको उनके आने से पहले वहाँ पहुँचना होता है एंड आई जस्ट कुड नॉट स्लीप आई वॉज वेटिंग एंड आई डेंट शेयर इट विद एनी बडी वे आई एम गोइंग आई जस्ट सेट आई हैव टू गो समेयर अब मैं वहीं से वहीं देर से आऊँगी सत्संग चली जाऊँगी गुरु जी के पास बिकॉज वन इट्स बिटवीन गुरु जी एंड यू दैट्स ऑल नो बडी एल्स इज बिटवीन एंड आई जस्ट गॉट रेडी वेरी अर्ली एंड वी लेफ्ट एंड बहुत ही ट्रैफिक थी बहुत ट्रैफिक थी उस दिन एंड आई जस्ट केम एंड गुरु जी की मर्यादा आई मीन आई कुड हैव जस्ट गॉन इन साइड गुरु जी स्ट्रोम बट आई जस्ट स्टूड एम्पायर स्टेट में जो गए हैं वहाँ चबूतरा है मैं बाहर ही बैठी हुई थी दरवाज़ा थोड़ा सा खुला था पर आई डेंट हैव द आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट पुश माई सेल्व द डोर एंड गो इन साइड आई थॉट आई सिट यर टेल समी विल कम आउट एंड आई टेल दैम आई वॉज वेटिंग देर फॉर सम टाइम एंड देन जोशी अंकल केम एंड सेट अरे आप यहाँ बैठी हैं गुरु जी आपका इंतजार कर रहे हैं अंदर so i just went inside and guruji was uh, sitting on his sofa and i went and i touched his feet and guruji looked at his watch and he said aunty to 5 minute late aayi so as we all condition i started telling him guruji main to bahut der se chali hu bahut traffic thi and i didn't even tell him that i have been waiting outside since 10 15 minutes एनी anyway, वे गुरु जी के सामने कोई तर्क नहीं चलता है यू जस्ट फॉरगेट एवरी थिंग एंड यू जस्ट सिट देर इन साइलेंस आई वॉज जस्ट सिटिंग इन साइलेंस विदाउट एनी सिंगल वर्ड एंड ऐसा लग रहा था एकदम जैसे हेवन में बैठे हूँ इतनी सुगंध इतनी शांति जो आपकी आत्मा की शांति द रीज़न दैट वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट ब्लिस आई एक्सपीरियंस दैट डे एंड जस्ट बहुत देर तक ऐसे बैठे रहे एंड देन ऑल ऑफ सन गुरु जी आस में मैंने बहुत भूख लगी है जब मेरे लिए कुछ खाने वास्ते कुछ लेके आ एंड आई गॉट अप बट अंदर किचन के किसी को अलाउड नहीं था तो मैं कभी गई नहीं थी इट वॉज लाइक ए लक्ष्मण रेखा आई वॉज जस्ट स्टैंडिंग आउटसाइड वेटिंग फॉर समबडी टू कम आउट एंड आस दैम कि गुरु जी को भूख लग रही है कुछ खाने के लिए आप ले आइए आई स्टूड देव अ फ्यू मिनट्स बट आई वज स्केट कि फिर ना देर हो जाए गुरु जी ने कहा था तू लेट आई है पाँच मिनट सो आई वज स्केट दैट आई हैव टू लिसन टू गुरु जी नो बट ही केम आउट एंड फाइनली माई माई माइंड माई हार्ट टोल मी आई हैव टू गो इन साइड एंड गेट समथिंग फॉर गुरु जी आई वेंट इन साइड फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ गुरु जी किचन इट वॉज पिक एंड स्पैन एंड वो काउंटर पर एक ट्रे सजी हुई रखी थी उसके ऊपर लाल कपड़ा रखा हुआ था एंड आई डेंट इवन ओपन आई थॉट ये गुरु जी के लिए है क्योंकि वहाँ कोई भी नहीं था जब गुरुजी आपको कुछ कहते हैं ना गुरुजी क्रिएट कर देते हैं हंड्रेड परसेंट गुरु ने वो क्रिएट किया हुआ था एंड आई जस्ट पिक्ट अप द द ट्रे एंड आई ब्रॉट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरुजी आई पुट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरुजी ऑन द टेबल एंड गुरुजी लुक एट मी एंड सेट एनो कोल्ड आई डेंट वी नो वॉट्स इन साइड आई ओपन डेट एंड देर वॉज सम हॉट पॉरिज सी किचन में कोई भी नहीं था वहाँ पर एंड वो कहाँ गरम गरम चीज़ें थी वहाँ से कौन कैसे कौन रखे क्या कुछ नहीं मालूम एंड आई जस्ट पुट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरु जी एंड गुरु जी लुक एट मी सेट मेरा मोचन आएगी एन ठंडा कर सो आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इट मस्ट बी समर टाइम एंड द फैन वॉज रनिंग एंड आई जस्ट जैसे आप बच्चे के लिए खाने के लिए आप ठंडा करते हो मुझे वही याद आ रहा था मैं उसको बोल को पंखे के नीचे रख के ऐसे स्पून से उसको स्टर कर रही हूँ उसको ठंडा कर रही हूँ कि एट द राइट टेम्परेचर फॉर गुरु जी एंड जब मुझे लगा कि ठीक है तब फिर मैंने गुरु जी के सामने रखा एंड गुरु जी लुक एट मी एंड गुरु जी सेट मैंने खुआ द आई स्टार्ट एड फीडिंग गुरु जी लाइक अ चाइल्ड गुरु जी वॉज ईटिंग एंड एफल जैसे गुरु जी छोटे हो गए हैं जैसे कृष्ण जी को माँ यशोदा खिलाती थी मुझे वो एहसास हुआ उस दिन एंड आफ्टर आई फिनिश गुरु जी जस्ट आस मी टू जस्ट लीव इट देर एंड जस्ट Don't worry about anything. I just left it on the table. Then I kept sat down quietly, and I was crying that I really wanted to do something for Guruji, and Guruji has given me this divine opportunity to serve him that day. 
and uh, continuously uh, I, uh, my tears were not stopping and I was just sitting there quietly and Guruji, after some time, Guruji got up and he said, Ja, I wrote a chola. I didn't know, I had never been seen Guruji's chola or anything. I just, I've been to Guruji's room many times, but I don't know where his chola is, right? So I just got up and as I stood up, I could see that uh, a hanger me unka chola rakha hua tha. I brought it and Guruji stood up and Guruji said, Menu pa. And I just put on his chola. And I realized that Guruji could become really tall. Hum unko sochte te, Guruji bhoat frail hai. But at that time, I felt like I'm in front of God. Guruji, itne bade vishal roop mein aise mujhe lagne lage. And I just put it on, Guruji, and and then he said, uh, Meri juti pa. So I brought his juti was right there. I put in front of Guruji. And Guruji looked at me and said, Menu pa. So I picked up his feet with my hands and I put it in the, his juti. And I was continuously crying. And then he sat on the sofa again. He never told me anything that day. We never had a conversation. Everything was happening in silence. And I went in deep meditation. Jaisi sachkhand aisa lag raha tha ki pura wo ambience kahi aur hai hum. Wo room room nahi lag raha tha. All of a sudden, I didn't see Guruji. He must be behind or somewhere. I don't know. Guruji is God. He can disappear, go anywhere. He can take me anywhere with him also. And all of a sudden, wo pure room mein millions and millions of roses and it was lag raha tha ki jaisi shank nad wo pata nahi kaha hai wo, wo jage. And I could start, I started hearing Om chanting, Jaisi Guruji apne body se Om ki dhwani nikalte the. Vaisi dhwani surai padne lagi mujhe. Om ki. But I could not even open my eyes, even if I wanted to. I could only feel. After some time I came back, Guruji brought me back, however, and then he sat on the sofa. And then he looked at his watch and he said, uh, Acha me sangat vich chala, tu paanch mein baat aai. And I didn't realize how much time had passed. I had been there from 5 o'clock till almost 8, 8.30. And Guruji got up and he went and sat on his throne and I was in the room and I kept looking at my watch because Guruji paanch minute mein late aai thi, I didn't want to be late. So I, I just, after five minutes, quickly I got up and I started walking and Guruji asked me to sit wherever he wanted and I sat there. And you can imagine the whole Sangat was there and they kept looking at me, you know, and I felt very humbled with Guruji's love and Guruji's grace. And my whole being was smelling of fragrance. My whole body, my whole, my hair, my clothes, everything, my hands. And most of all, my soul was fragrant that day. That is what I wanted to serve my Guru. I wanted some seva. And Guruji gave so much love, so much love that day. He showered. So, I can So, I'm so grateful to Guruji and thankful for this, especially on the day of divine love, that how much he has showered. So, I'm so, so happy to share this experience with you. Experiences the bohat bohat hai. Pyaar wale jo Guru ji ne hamisha pyaari baata hai sangat mein. Uh, ab mein MPG se request karungi hu, wo apna kuch share karein. And uh, Jai Guru ji, thank you so much. We all are here together. Jai Guruji Sangat Ji, it's a privilege to be with you to share some thoughts about Guruji. Aap logo ne Sangat to bhoat suni hoongi experiences ke. Be aapko batana chahta hoon Guruji ke baare mein and our individual relationship with Guruji that we all have. Guruji, ne, Guruji se pahle hum logo ne darshan kiye is jeevan mein in 98. Beti ki 
बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स थी अस्थमा की उषा ने बताया होगा इट वॉज क्योर्ड विद जस्ट वन ब्लेसिंग गुरु जी ने हाथ उठाया कल्याण किता एंड दैट वॉज इट द एस्थमा वॉज गॉन फॉर एवर एस्थमा दैट कुड नॉट बी ट्रीटेड एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड बाई ऑल काइंड ऑफ मेडिकेशन सो एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी सीवियर प्रॉब्लम सो उसके बाद मैं अक्सर ही चला जाता था गुरु जी की संगत में जस्ट एज अ टू एक्सप्रेस माई ग्रैटिट्यूड एंड रेस्पेक्ट टू गुरु जी नो अदर फीलिंग मैंने बहुत से मिराकिल्स देखे और मैंने देखा कि गुरु जी हैड ऑल द एट्रीब्यूट्स जो भगवान को हम लोग कहते हैं सर्व समर्थ सर्वशक्तिमान सर्वज्ञ अंतर्यामी सर्वस्य सर्वव्यापी दया और करुणा के अथाह सागर आई सो ऑल दैट तो लोग कहते थे गुरु जी शिव जी हैं तो आई वॉज एग्नोस्टिक हमने कहा हो सकता है शिव जी हो परंतु मुझे मालूम नहीं हो सकता कोई और डिविनिटी हो और गुरु जी अपने को हमेशा महापुरुष कहते थे हिज एक्स यू नो ही बेसिकली रेफर टू हिम इन थर्ड पर्सन एज महापुरुष तो मैंने कहा ठीक है इन ड्यू टाइम वील लर्न टाइम बीतता गया कई साल बीत गए मैंने गुरु जी को कभी सोते हुए नहीं देखा था तो मैं काफी क्यूरियस रहता था इंट्री एक बड़ी क्यूरियोसिटी थी चाइल्ड लाइफ कि गुरु जी कभी सोते भी हैं कि नहीं क्योंकि हम लोग अक्सर वहां दो तीन चार बजे तक बैठे रहते थे उसके बाद बताते थे लोग कि गुरु जी पाठ करने में लग जाते हैं तो मैं सोचता था हम लोग यहाँ पे बैठे रहते हैं उसके बाद गुरु जी पाठ करते हैं फिर उनकी दिनचर्या शुरू हो जाती है तो डज ही एवर स्लीप पर गुरु जी ने बोल रखा था गुरु से कुछ नहीं पूछते तो मैं कभी पूछता नहीं था और बहुत कई साल बीत गए पर एक दिन ऐसा हुआ था कि मैं अकेला बैठा था गुरुजी के पास कोई था नहीं बहुत दूर एक एक और पुरुष थे पंकज सिंह चंद्रशेखर के जो प्राइम मिनिस्टर थे उनके बेटे बहुत दूर थे वो और कोई नहीं था तो मैंने कहा मैं आज गुरुजी से पूछ लेता हूँ हो सकता है गुरु डांटे पर अगर डांटेंगे तो मैं अकेला हूँ कोई बात नहीं इट विल नॉट बी वेरी एम्बेसिंग तो मैंने गुरु से पूछा गुरु आप कभी सोते हैं गुरुजी इतने प्यार से मुस्कुराए केवल भगवान ही ऐसे मुस्कुरा सकते हैं ये मैं बता सकता हूं आपको और गुरुजी के शब्द थे एंड आई रिपीट देम एग्जैक्टली एज ही से गुरुजी ने कहा मैं सोऊंगा तो सृष्टि को कौन देखेगा इफ आई स्लीप हु लुक आफ्टर द क्रिएशन गुरु जी ने रिवील कर दिया हु ही वॉस फिर क्वेश्चन यह है कि अगर वो गुरु जी महाशिव हैं अगर वो महादेव हैं तो वहां क्या कर रहे थे तो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू गो टू शिव पुराण अगर आप शिव पुराण पढ़िए तो उसमें यू नो देर इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ क्रिएशन देर वॉज नथिंग देन लॉर्ड लॉर्ड शिवा thought that there should be creation so lord first created brahma asked him to create the srishti so brahma with lot of failure with after lot of trial and errors succeeded and he was so proud of his accomplishment that he grew four heads one on each side so he can see his own creation and be proud of it and then he became so proud he grew a fifth head on top so lord shiva was very curious he was very intrigued lord shiva said let me see what brahma has done why he is so proud and lord shiva observed the creation and he was very disappointed he was very sad he started crying because he looked at nothing except a mess violence greed betrayal arrogance on and on and on and on then he approached brahma and said brahma what have you done you created such a mess brahma said lord because brahma didn't realize his mistake so then lord shiva became angry he created kal bhairav with his anger and asked kal bhairav to snatch away the fifth head of brahma kal bhairav didn't want to do that because that's ultimate sin but that's another legend anyway he did that when he did that lord brahma came to his senses and he begged forgiveness of lord shiva and said 
Lord, I did make a mistake. Please correct it. So Lord Shiva said, no, you know, you have created. I gave you the responsibility. I'm not going to interfere. But every once in a while, I'll go to earth and take care of some of my bhats. So that's basically, you know, every once in a while on this earth, we are blessed with the presence of a Sadguru. And that is Lord Shiva himself or an ansh of Lord Shiva. And he has come because he knows what a mess we are in. You know, we came from a source, but we have forgotten about it. Because that was long, long time ago, probably many lives ago. And we need to get back to the same source. And we don't know about it. And we can't do anything about it anyway, even if we want to. Because we have this karmic baggage that we can't unload. So our Sadguru comes for some of us to help us unload our karmic baggage. Guruji kehte the, Main talwar ki chot sahta hun, Ek sui ki chot bas tumhare le chhod deta hun. So he unloads all our karmic baggage. So we can get back to where we need to be. And in that, he is he's totally committed. He is not going to give up till he succeeds with each one of us who are his bhakt. It may take many lives, but he is relentless with his mission. That's his mission. And then, obviously, the question is why, why all these miracles happen? Well, imagine somebody comes to you and says, I am Sadhguru. Trust me, I'm going to take care of you completely in this life and in all future lives. I'll help you unload all your karmic baggage so you can get back to where you need to be. You know what we will tell him? We'll say, don't waste my time. I got better things to do. So that's why miracles happen because somehow, you know, we put our Guru in that difficult situation where he has to show some elements of his power. So we start believing in him. We start trusting him. That's why the miracles are there all the time. It's just so that we are aware of who he may be. So we can trust him. We can have confidence in him. And we can surrender to him. Now, what is our Guru's blessing for us? You know, of course, you know, he's going to take us back to where we need to be. But, you know, his true blessing, when you think about it in this life, is his continuous presence with us. Hame fragrance aati rehti hai, miracles hote rehte hai. He's showing that he is with us. Guruji kehte the, ash karo. What does that mean? That means he is with us. We should have no fear. We should have no worries. So his blessing for us is a life without fear, a life without any worries. Please have total confidence. Be totally assured that you shouldn't worry about anything. You shouldn't be scared of anything. Because he is there with us. He always used to tell us, Ashkaro. You know, no need to worry about anything. No need to be scared of anything. I'm with you. I'm taking care of things. Kya darne ki baat? Kya parashan hone ki baat? You know, that basically what he said. He didn't say that. He just said, Ashkaro. But you know, you have to read what he meant. But we have some obligations. You know, our primary obligations is, Mango mat, mano. Those are Guruji's words. We have to believe Him. We have to trust Him. We should realize that He knows everything that's there to know in this world and knows everything about us. He knows what we want. Why bother Him with all that what we want? He already knows that. He also knows what's best for us. So Sadhguru will do what is best for us, not necessarily what we want. So trust him with that. Leave it to him to bless us 
with what is best for us, which may or may not be necessarily what we want. But that is our obligations to him. Primary obligation. A secondary obligation that goes with it is Sangat. You know, when we think about Sangat, sometimes we think we have to collect 100 people and do Agarbatti and do, you know, flowers and, you know, do set this up and do Langar and all that. And that's fine. That's great. But, you know, when a true Sangat is just with Guruji, we don't need anyone else. And we can do that Sangat anytime, especially once we realize he is with us. So we don't need anything to do a Sangat. We can do it anytime. Of course, we should do it, you know, with other people too, you know, with all the arrangements because that creates a community feeling, which is very important. But a Sangat can be done anytime, anywhere, because our Guru is with us. So please learn to do that. Do your Sangat anytime. Talk to Guruji. Meditate upon Guruji. That's the only way to connect with Him. What is Guruji's expectations from us? Few, few minor things. You know, he is our father. We are all his children. Now imagine there is a father and a son comes and he's saying, Daddy, I don't have this. I don't have this. Can you do this for me? My life is very difficult. Please help me. And that's all he does. Then there is another son and he comes and he just comes because he loves his dad and he wants to spend time with his dad. And he says, Dad, how are you? He doesn't ask anything from the dad. But of course, dad knows. And dad will give him what he wants. Now, which of those children would you should, would you should be? Just think about it. So our first obligation is to stop crying, stop asking, stop being sad. Enjoy the time with Guruji. Be happy with him. Look forward to doing Sangat with him. You can do that anytime. Another obligations we have, which is similar, is courage and strength. You know, Guruji's first temple that he built was in Jalandhar Kant. And if you look at the Sangat of Guruji, there was a predominance of army people. And there's a reason for it. You know, only those that Guruji wanted in his Sangat came. So why did army people come? Why did he build his temple in a cantonment? Because he wants us to be strong. He wants us to be brave, just like the people in, in army people, who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice any time. So they should be our role model in a way. We should be strong. We should be our brave. That's what our Guru expects from us. Guru also expects Purusharth. Don't just listen to Sangha, do it, do something. You know, we have come to this life, into this world, with a mission. We all have a mission. And we should accomplish that. And when Guru is with us, who is going to stop us? We'll succeed. We'll succeed beyond our expectations. So do what you have to do. Achieve your dreams. Guru is with you. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. You know, don't think that God designs what's to happen. God doesn't. We design what's to happen. God didn't tell us to build, you know, tram cars or automobiles. Don't, God didn't tell us to rape and kill and go to war. Don't, God, God didn't tell us to build temples or establish cities or build roads. We have done that ourselves. Of course, He would like things to be good and that's why we should do what our mission is to make this a better world accomplish your mission achieve your dreams nothing should stop you and a very important expectation our guru has guruji made us sit four together and eat our langar together why four together there are four castes and that was a symbolic point Guruji was telling us there should not be any caste, there should not be any barriers. We are all equal, we are all his children. We have created all this nonsense of caste 
and barriers ourselves. Let's get rid of it. Our gurus, Sikh gurus have been doing that. Let's follow them. What are our, some of the, our obligations? I will tell you Guru Ji said. Guru Ji said, Don't hurt anyone. That is a very, very important obligation. We are all His children. We are all connected. If we hurt someone else, we, it's going to basically hurting us in the end. It may not happen immediately. We may realize it later in life or some, in some other life. That's our karmic baggage. So don't hurt anyone. Please. That's a very, very important instructions from Guruji. Guruji said, Gupt Gupta Jaap Karo or Gupta Daan Karo. Gupta Jap means something we can do quietly in our head and that is our Sangat. Guruji bolte the Om Namah Shivaya Shivji Sada Sahai that is the Jap. Later on the Sangat added Om Namah Shivaya Guruji Sada Sahai which is actually saying the same thing because when Guru is Lord Shiva whether he says Shiva or Guru it's the same thing. So Om Namah Shivaya Shivji Sada Sahai that is Guru Mantra. And he asked us to do the Jap as much as possible. Gupta Jap. Quietly keep doing it in your head. And I'll tell you an experience I had. You know, once I learned Guruji is Sar Sarvagya and Sarvagyata and Antaryami, I, I became concerned that Guruji ke sangat mein baitha rehta hu. God knows, you know, what kind of, you know, thoughts may flash through my mind and Guruji knows everything. So it could be very embarrassing. So I thought, you will do it. So I was sitting there and I was just to avoid other thoughts from coming and going through my mind. One day Guru Ji called me in my house. They are saying a lot of love. They are doing a lot of love. They are doing a lot of love. So you know something, I was doing something for a totally different ulterior motive. But I was doing something right. And Guru Ji gave me encouragement to do that. So please, as much as possible, they are doing a lot of love. Quietly. Om Namah Shivaya Shiv Ji Sada Sahai. In your head it should go on all the time as much as possible. Like a CD. You know, you're driving a car, do that. You're sitting, waiting somewhere, do that. As much as you can. Gup, Guruji says, Gupta Daan. Share what you have with others. You know, we are all connected. We are all children, his children. So whatever we can, we should share it with others. And Guruji says, Gupta Daan. Kisi ko malum nahi hona chahiye. Do with your right hand so your left hand would not know. So don't put a big name plate in a temple where you make a donation that you donated this much money. Or don't put a, that name plate in orphanage or whatever you do. It should be totally quiet, totally anonymous. If possible, and that's very difficult, but if possible, even the person who is getting something from you should not know that it came from you. Hmm? And finally, Guruji also said, do everything as an offering to me. That is very important because once we do everything, whatever we are doing as an offering to Guru, karma nahi create hote hain. This is in Gita also. He, he, when he told us, both I and Usha were together, he looked at Usha and he said, lipstick bhi lagaya kar to aisa lagaya kar jaysa Guru ke liye laga rahi hai. So, you know, even ordinary things, even mundane things, road things, please do it as an offering to Guru. Whatever you do, do it as an offering. Please remember, our real temple is inside us, in our heart, in our mind. The temple stays with us. We don't need to go anywhere. Guru is in our mind. Guru is in our heart. Keep him there. Occasionally, you can go to a temple as a recreation. And of course, go to Vada temple at least once in a life. That's a creation of Guruji. You know, do it as a respect. But please don't run to temples because you think that will solve your problem. And the God is there. God is right there, you know, inside our mind, inside our heart. Let's not run after God in temple. You know, let, you know, do that as a respect. Yes. And keep doing our Sangat with Guru because our Guru is always with us. 
He should be in our heart, in our mind, and he's always there anyway, on his own, with us. So please keep doing that. I'd like to say in the end that there's no higher blessing than having a Sadguru. And I'll quote Adi Guru Shankaracharya from Vivek Chudamadi. He wrote many books, one of which is one of the one, best ones is Vivek Chudamadi, which we which can translate as Nuggets of Wisdom. And in, in that, right fairly much in the beginning, within the first three, four pages, he says, There are three things which are possible only with Bhagavad Kripa, with divine blessing. It can't happen otherwise. And he said the first is human body. We've been given this human body as a divine blessing. And I should, I, I'll just go off a little bit. When Lord Shiva wanted to create the universe, he created, of course, Brahma, you know, for creation. He created Vishnu for sustenance. And then he asked Brahma to be the responsible for destruction. The Brahma refused. He said, Lord, I am a creator. I am not a destroyer. He then asked Vishnu to be destroyer. Vishnu also refused because he said, I am the sustainer. I am not a destroyer. So Lord took the responsibility for destruction himself and upon himself and created Rudra, the fierce one, the howler, to do that. So, you know, in the end, we have these three deities but of course lord shiva is above all of them but there's one thing that lord shiva kept for himself which is responsibility for the transmigration of soul so the human body that we get is his gift his blessing so that's not possible otherwise and that's what lord that's what adi guru shankaracharya said he said the second thing that's not possible without bhagavad kripa is a spiritual curiosity. So maybe um, there are a million people, but maybe only just a handful of them will have an interest in divinity or spirituality. Because that doesn't come on your own. You can't develop that interest in spirituality. You know, if you are listening to satsang, you are probably one of those blessed ones, unless you are looking, looking only to get something out of it in terms of selfish material interests. I hope that's not true. And, but the final blessing, he says, that is the ultimate blessing. Even those who have spiritual interests, even among millions of them, only handful will get that. And that is Sadguru. So Sadguru is our ultimate blessing. Once we have found him, there is nothing more to be found. Then just, just enjoy, be happy, celebrate. Life should, should, every day should be a celebration with Guruji. Guruji is a celebration of love. In the end, you know, I'd like to say something which some of you may not like about Mr. Valentine. You know, Mr. Valentine was in Rome when Christianity was not yet a force. And they wanted to create more Christians there because they wanted to basically destroy the other Roman religion. So one of the things started doing, there, there used to be an age limit for marriage. So he will go to the children and he'll say, if you want to get married and you're under age, I'll get you married if you become Christian. So he created his own form of, you know, whatever you want to say. And he started creating more Christians and he succeeded enormously. And that's why he was made a saint later on, because he created more Christians. And of course, you know what those Christians did? The Romans were expected to do four things. And I'm giving you a, a trivia of history. First, they had, they had to believe in Caesar. They had to offer him incense. Second, they had to participate in the festivities like Holi and Diwali. Third, they had to pay taxes. And fourth, when required, they had to serve in the army. So as the Christians were, as the conversion took place, they were told, you should not respect Caesar, because we have our own. Second, they said you should not participate in these festivities because we have our own. Third, you should not pay taxes. Fourth, you should not serve in army. In the end, of course, you know, the Roman Empire fell apart because of, you know, all these kind of things. And there were thousand years of darkness in which half of Europe was killed. You can read the history. Thirty-year war itself killed half of it. You know, so, you know, basically, I don't know why 
we should call such a person saint. You know, let those who think that, you know, creating more Christian was a great job, call him saint. You know, why should I call Aurangzeb a saint? You know, so for me, this true love is in Guruji. And I want to celebrate love with Guruji. So every day is a celebration of love with Guruji. You know, so I hope you didn't mind me saying that because some people like to be in blissful ignorance. So my apologies to them. If <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but I just want to celebrate love with Guruji and every day is a celebration of love with Guruji and I don't need any Mr. Valentine to celebrate love. You know, <laughs> Thank, thanks for listening. Uh, I hope I was able to share some of the what, you know, thoughts about Guruji and you know, our individual relationship with Guruji and hopefully that's helpful to some of you. So with that, Jai Guruji. May Guruji's blessings always be with you. May he keep enlightening us all the time. And just stay happy. There's nothing to fear. There's absolutely nothing to worry. Guruji is with you. Each one of us. Enjoy. Celebrate love. Celebrate life. And achieve your dreams. Jai Guruji. Jai Guruji. Thank you so much. Atul Uncle. And thank you so much. I who jitni sangat hai, jo jo watch kar rahe hain, aap sabko bahut bahut Guruji ki blessings. And sabse badkar shukrana to Guruji jo unhone ye opportunity diye. Ham dono ne wo saath mein apna aaj share kiya hai. And aap sab par Guruji ki kripa yuhi barasti rahe. Guruji se hamara sab ka pyar bana rahe aapas mein. Divine love, jaise MP ji ne kaha hai, you know, we should celebrate that. So, I, I also want to add that, you know, Guruji gave me two lives and some other time, you know, when I share some of the experiences, I can share that. Exactly. And one, I, I, I sometimes wonder why he gave me life, you know, because, you know, what does that do for me? It creates, it basically puts me in this on this earth for extra time. Maybe I don't need that. Maybe I need to get back to my source quickly. Uh -huh. But I think, you know, these are all gifts. And maybe one of the reasons he has done that so that I can share my thoughts with you today. Right. So, you know, I hope you know, that you'll realize Guruji is with you. That's what I'd like you to realize today. If you, have, if you already don't realize that he's blessing you all the time and there's absolutely nothing to worry and nothing to fear. Please achieve your dreams. And don't just listen to Sangat. Go do something. Please. <laughs> Please share. I can share, you know, if you want, if you have time, you know, then I can... You know, there's basically, I have an infinite re repository of satsang. So I, I can keep sharing. But of course, you know, I'm, I get tired too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I can share maybe some that are important, I think. And uh, one of them was, you know, let me share in the power of surrender. You know, I used to come from Singapore on Thursday, go straight to Guruji Sangat. Then I would stay in India on Friday, Saturday and Sunday night i'll return to singapore by a night singapore airlines flight that will get me in singapore on monday morning so i can go to office on monday so you know india was part of my responsibility so basically you know i could do something on friday in india so it used to be like a business trip too at times so on sunday when i had to return to singapore i would you know my flight was singapore airlines flight at that time i think it was used to be 11 15 pm departure something like that so I used to leave Guruji Sangat around 8.30 p.m. That would put me in the airport around 9, 9.15 at the latest. We, you know, just in time, you know, two hours, you know, to get my boarding passes and go through everything and board the flight. But one day, I think it was the year 2002 maybe, I thought, you know, and this, this, these thoughts of course, you know, they, these are also gifts of Guruji. And I, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm here at Gurudwara. I have come here to my Guru. I shouldn't leave till my Guru tells me to leave. So with that thought, with complete determination, I sat down in Sangat that day. And on that day, Usha was with me and my uncle, you know, who took us to Guruji in the beginning. He was with me and a few other family members were there. So time start, clock started ticking around 8.30, 8.45. My uncle was very, very Impatient, he thought I'll miss my flight and he kept nudging me. Utho, utho, my flight miss ho jayegi. 
go, go. So, you know, I kept ignoring him, but it kept, you know, he kept on going like that for 15, 20 minutes. So he's my family elder. I respect him a lot. So I said, you know, I, I can't just ignore. I have to get up. I have to listen to him. So I got up, went toward Guruji. Guruji looked at me. He laughed. He says, Teri flight cancel bad ja. And you know, I had not even told Guruji that I'm leaving that day. Of course, he knew everything. So I came and sat down. I said, Chacha Ji, I said, Chacha Ji, Guru Ji is saying, flight cancel. So anyway, then Chacha Ji was happy. He, he didn't, um, then he said, that's fine. Then later on, I think it must have been around 10 o'clock. Guru Ji waves at me, asks me to come to him. And then he says, Ja. Ab tu ja. So I came out. With me, you know, Usha came out and Chacha Ji also came out and all the, all the other family members. Chacha Ji even said, Ab to tumhe flight nahi milne wali hai. To you, from airport, you come back. Then we'll go home together. Tumne ka, Theek hai. So this is when the old Delhi airport was there, not the new one. So I reached airport and at that, that time there used to be four big gates to enter the airport. For those who, you know, some of you may remember if you've been there at that time. A airport was totally disorganized, totally chaotic, a real messy situation all the time. It was very difficult to just get through, you know, those gates. It would take 15, 20 minutes at time. And that day was no different, actually. It was so, so much crowd, complete chaos, typical disorganization, no, no, nothing, you know, it's a nonsense. But, you know, all those four gates I saw and I couldn't believe my eyes. There was nobody there. I could enter through any of those gates because, you know, the airport was small, you could see all the gates. So, and anyway, I entered through gate 3, you know, which was the typical gate through which I used to enter because Singapore Airlines counter used to be right in front there. So, as I entered, I looked, there was no signage of Singapore Airlines. So, I looked at the constable, you know, the policeman, you know, who used to, you know, check our passport. And said, I asked, what was Singapore Airlines ka wo counter? Hota tha, kya hua? So he said, there is, 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 embarkation card when I approached the immigration I saw that I don't know how many lines were there I saw that all the clerks are sitting there all the immigration people who are the police people who are the police people who are checking in the oven who are checking in the oven but there is nobody there people are filled in the airport all the people are filled in the airport but all those immigration lines there was nobody there I just walked through basically then after that, the last hurdle used to be security gate. At that time, two long, 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 long gates were used for security. There were a lot of long lines. Sometimes it would be half an hour to go through it. Again, the same situation. There is a lot of people in the airport. You know, it's completely chaotic as usual. But I'm seeing that both gates are open. There's no one in it. No Q, nothing. I couldn't believe my eyes. Anyway, I passed through it. Went toward the gate. I was the last person to, you know, get in the plane. And they closed the gate behind me within two minutes and we took off. After that, when next morning Singapore time arrived, you know, I called Usha and told Usha, Usha, aaj, tum, Usha was still in Delhi at that time. I said, Aaj Guruji ke Sangat mein jana to tell Guruji ki how easy he made, you know, my boarding. So anyway, next day Usha called me, he said, she said, uh, आप मैं गुरुजी क्या हैं गई मैं उनको प्रणाम कर ही रही थी मैं कुछ बोलने का उन्होंने मौका भी नहीं दिया खुद ही हंसने लगे कहने लगे अंकल की फ्लाइट कैसी थी बता कैसे बोर्ड किया तो यू नो जस्ट इन केस देयर वाज एनी डाउट व्हाट हैपेंड कि गुरुजी कभी कभी बहुत कहते थे कि मैं मेरी शक्ति लगती है और लोग सोचते हैं कोइंसिडेंस हो गया तो दैट वाज नो कोइंसिडेंस यू नो ही अरेंज्ड इट लाइक एग्जैक्टली दैट फॉर अस ही इज महाशिव so whenever he wanted, he could arrange the universe as he liked, as he wanted. Of course, you know, God doesn't do that, you know, because 
वी आर हेयर टू डू वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट हमारे मन माने के लिए पूरी छूट है यहाँ पर एंड दैट्स हाउ द कर्माज आर क्रिएटेड एंड दैट्स हाउ द वर्ल्ड रन इट डज नॉट रन बाय द विल ऑफ गॉड इट रन बाय द विल ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स वी आर फ्री टू किल एंड रेप और बिल्ड एंड क्रिएट इट्स अ टोटली अप टू अस सो एनी वे दैट्स वन संगत आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर मे बी आई कैन शेयर वन मोर विच इज ऑफ सम वैल्यू बट दैट वॉज पावर ऑफ सरेंडर सी वॉट हैपन दैट डे आई डेंट रियलाइज इट बट आई हैड सरेंडर टू माई गुरु बिकॉज आई हैड डिसाइडेड दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लीव टिल माई गुरु टेल्स मी टू लीव आई हैव हैंडल्ड इन द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर माई सेल्फ राइट एंड दैट्स वाई यू मेड इट सो ईजी सो सिंपल सो माई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज do what you have to do to achieve your dreams to achieve your mission but leave the outcome to guru ji just do it as a offering to guru ji whatever you are doing and leave it leave it to him to decide what happens what the outcome is and please i can assure you the outcome will be better than what you ever expected you know it will exceed far exceed your own expectations and you will be surprised it will surprise you It used to surprise me, you know. When I I was posted, I was a managing director in Singapore, and uh, my performance was absolutely incredible. When I look back at it, I I didn't know how what was happening, you know. In in three months, four months, I used to achieve my annual, you know, bookings, which is orders quota. Within six, seven, eight months, I used to achieve my billings quota, which was the shipping. I built a plant in China. which became profitable the first full year of operation in the second year of operation it was a plant with the highest returns in the company and on and on and on you know all these things were happening and i was so stupid i thought it is happening because i am so good you know it it you know at that time i didn't have this kind of awareness of guru's blessings and guru ji even made me <laughs> try to make me understand what was happening i still didn't for example once when in my annual review I was in my office at eleven o'clock, eleven p.m. because my boss used to be in, you know, on the East Coast time in U.S. So you know he's he's doing my review. It is eleven a.m. for him, eleven p.m. for me. And it, the review was so good. He was beyond himself. He was praising me so much. And as he was doing that, the phone started became so fragrant. The whole room became fragrant. it it was such a beautiful experience that i actually took away the phone at that time it was old type phone landline. you know the landline phone and i removed the headset brought it home gave <laughs> said to usha usha dekho is plastic mein itni fragrance hai guruji ki and kept that as a you know gift of guruji at home for many many days it kept fragrant for that piece of plastic was fragrant for so many days in the end when the fragrance stopped then i took it back to the office so you know guruji was telling me that day you know that that review that performance and all that what it was all about is his blessing but i didn't get it you know it's i i feel very sad that i didn't get it you know so my my request to all of you you know you'll far exceed your expectations in what happens but don't forget it's a gift of guru it's a keep it as an offering to guru don't let your i there in the middle get rid of your ego you know we are surrender yourself to guru and that's when most beautiful things will happen keep your i there and you'll be limited by uh, your own capabilities get rid of the i and there is no limit because divinity has no limits guru ji will arrange the universe any way you want and not any way we want but any way it should be for us to achieve what we need to achieve so do you want me to share more <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to you know bore you i don't want to take too much time <laughs> but you know if you want to share more i can keep talking you know because guru ji's guru's blessings are enormous you know but maybe we should leave it for another day so there's so much to share about guru ji i i wanted to share what i think would be of more use and more value to you in you know having your own relationship with guru ji you know saying yes sir what he saying yes sir if you want to please do uncle okay maybe maybe one more uh, satsang that's of some value to you
how much time would you do you have <laughs> i'll 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 share one uh, you know which is very which actually very very meaningful i'm uh, i'm glad that you gave me some time because i think this is valuable uh guruji once asked me to well not guruji one day i get a call from my uncle my chacha ji and who took us to guruji i'm you know eternally grateful to him he is like my chote guru because he took me to my real guru jis you know so you know he took me to guruji anyway one day my chacha called and he said guruji is saying you come immediately and uh, buy a house on buy a flat on uh, orangzeb road so maine kaha i don't know why guruji would like to do me to do that but humne kaha theek hum turant aate hain to maine within a week or two i was there and as soon as i touched guruji's feet in the sangat guruji said the same thing he said ja orangzeb road pe flat khareed le to mujhe aro orangzeb road to malum hai you know that's uh, you know unfortunately we named our streets you know, after such you know villains but anyway <laughs> you know orangzeb road malum hai the most glorious road in delhi longest road probably in the central delhi but wahan bhi ye nahi malum tha mujhe ki flat wahan pe kaun se hai kaun se khareed hai to anyway next day i was with my cousin sister and she didn't used to go to sangat but uh, she knew people in the sangat and she knew about guruji to maine usse kaha ki guruji bol rahe the mujhe flat khareed lo main kahan se flat khareedu mujhe kuch malum hi nahi yahan ke bare mein to so kehti oh you should talk to vipi you know vipi knows everything and he can take care of it so vipi actually you know i think many of you may know him vipi was always around guruji and i'm not sure but i think his father built the bade temple mm-hmm. but he was the contractor for bade temple he is the one who has built the bade temple mm-hmm. so vipi was always a very flashy guy you know he <laughs> have his sunglasses when he's outside and he stand like a james bond next to guruji you know as his you know security person so anyway i knew vipi uh, so next day i when i went to sangat i approached vipi and i said vipi uh can you help me with buying a flat on orangzeb road so we be said sure vipi ko already malum tha guruji ne must have told him to kehta uncle i'll pick you up from your hotel at 10 o'clock and uh, tomorrow morning and uh, we'll go and look at some flats tumne kaha theek hai to in the meantime i learned that orangzeb road pe ek hi private flat building thi wo ansals ki in at that time there were only two buildings in central delhi in lutens delhi where you could buy everything was basically monopolized by our government so that was a prithvi that, that on the prithvi raj uh, uh, road you know there was the tata building and on uh, orangzeb road there was the ansal building so that's only places where you could buy flats if you wanted to be in lutens delhi so next day vp came and picked me up and he said uncle it's incredible uncle it is very difficult to have any flat available in the you know on in this ansal building because there is so much demand and immediately things get sold nobody even knows about it but he said today i couldn't believe uncle there are three flats which are available so i immediately realized and he also realized of course you know that was guru's blessing that these three flats were available so he showed me one flat the other two where we could not show but he told me where they are you know he showed me the location i really like the flat price was 3 crore at that time i think it was year 2002 2003 something like that the delhi property market was not at all hot it was a very dull stagnant market for many years nothing was selling uh, in gurgaon etc all these houses flats were lying empty so then i started thinking humne kaha ki bhai why should i buy the flat pata nahi kyun guruji bol rahe hain flat khareedne ke liye agar uh, it doesn't make any sense for me to buy it you know because it doesn't seem like a good investment yahan kuch appreciation wagera to hai nahi i should buy something somewhere in us us europe wagera to maine kaha pata nahi kyun khareedna chahte hain kab no and i was doing everything that guruji told me not to do guruji told us not to do everybody guruji kehte the ki ab aaya kar to apni akal juti mein bahar rakh ke aaya kar so you know basically when we come to guru you know we have to surrender to him as i shared so we have to follow his instructions and i was instead of doing that i was using my own brain and my own you know limited very limited human thinking you know to analyze what guruji was saying fir maine socha ho sakta hai guruji khud apne liye chahte ho ki central delhi mein guruji ki sangat ho to mujhe ek actually flat uske liye bahut pasand aaya wo wo ground floor pe tha aur entrance bhi uska bahar se bhi ho sakta tha aur lawn maine kaha yahan pe bas soch bhi raha tha yahan pe log chappal utar denge yahan pe pani hoga yahan pe guruji ki sangat ho jayegi to फिर मैं अगले दिन गया तो मैंने मेरे गुरुजी से बात नहीं कर पाता था प्रॉब्लम मेरी ये थी कि 
मुझे पंजाबी समझ में गुरुजी जी पन, गुरु जी की पंजाबी मुझे बिल्कुल नहीं समझ में आती थी गुरुजी इतनी तेजी से बोलते थे और अपने गांव डुगरी की पंजाबी बोलते थे कि दैट वाज ऑलवेज आई एम टोटली इनकॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल फॉर मी तो मैं बिल्कुल समझ ही नहीं आता था गुरु जो भी कहते थे मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम तो मैंने कहा गुरु से मैं क्या पूछूँ गुरु जो बोलेंगे मुझे कुछ समझ ही नहीं आएगा तो मैंने आई प्रोच सिंगला मिस्टर सिंगला यूज टू बी लाइक एन असिस्टेंट टू गुरु जी टू केयर ऑफ ऑल द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव वर्क सो मैं सिंगला से मैंने पूछा सिंगला गुरु जी चाहते हैं क्या कि सेंट्रल दिल्ली में गुरु जी की संगत हो यहाँ एम्पायर स्टेट इज काइंड ऑफ इन अ कॉर्नर इन अ पेरीफेरी तो सिंगला बोलते हैं नहीं नहीं ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है गुरु जी ही वी स्टार्टेड लाफिंग ही सेट वाई गुरु जी इज़ वेरी हैप्पी है इट डज नॉट गो एनी मैंने कहा ठीक है फिर मैं नहीं मैं ही खरीदता हूँ सो यू नो एज टूपिट एज आई वॉज यू नो आई डेंट अप्रोच गुरु जी आई शुड हैव डन दैट राइट यू नो गुरु जी के इंस्ट्रक्शन थे जा खरीदो मुझे बात करनी चाहिए कम से कम बताना तो चाहिए था कि गुरु जी मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ क्यों नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैंने कुछ नहीं किया एनी वे टाइम पैस बाई एंड इन ऑफकोर्स यू नो विद इन अयर प्राइस आर डबल्ड एंड राइट नाउ प्रॉब्लम इट इज इन ऑफ थ्री करोड़ इट इज थर्टी करोड़ और वॉट एवर सो यू नो गुरु वॉट गुरु वॉज ट्राइंग टू डू वॉज हेल्प मी एंड लेट मी टेल यू वाई वाई दैट वॉज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट If I had bought that flat at that time, I would have used certain options, stock options, company stock options, you know, that were going to expire now in not too distant future. Since I didn't do that, I didn't exercise those options, and something very drastic happened. And you know, which happens often in the commercial world, and stock prices went down or whatever happened, and those stocks became worthless and expired worthless. so those stocks that i would have used stock options to buy the flat became zero so it was basically free gift from guru ji guru ji was gifting me that apartment free but you know as you know at the level of understanding i had because of that you know i didn't use that but anyway that's that bothered me of course you know nobody likes financial you know uh, it's not a not a loss but missed opportunity you can say so but इतनी परेशानी उसकी ज़्यादा नहीं थी मुझे परेशानी ये थी कि मैंने गुरु की बात नहीं सुनी बाद में मुझे दैट वाज रियली बॉदरिंग माय कॉन्शेंस कि माय गुरु आस मी टू डू समथिंग एंड आई डिट डू दैट यू नो बिकॉज यू नो आई आई व्हाट आई डिड वाज यू नो स्टार्टेड अप्रोचिंग समबडी इन द मिडल यू नो टू फाइंड आउट यू नो वॉट गुरु वॉन्ट सो यू नो वॉट हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड स्टार्टेड रियली इट बिकेम दैट थाट बिकेम वेरी पेनफुल फॉर मी एक्चुअली अराउंड 2006 when we were returning to you know Seattle and it was very painful i you know there were some nights i didn't sleep because i felt so bad you know that it it was you know that guru ji asked my guru asked me to do something i didn't do that i was feeling so guilty so it, during that time what happened i i, I guru ji called me and he said uh, he gave me a time during day to come so i went there nobody else was there सो गुरु जी टोल्ड मी सेट सुन अपने और अपने गुरु के बीच में किसी को नहीं लाते तो दैट वॉज हिज फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन सेकेंड ही गेव मी टू फोन नंबर एंड ही सेट एक मेरे नेफ्यू का है गौरव का और एक मेरे ड्राइवर का है कहता मैंने इन दोनों को बता दिया है कि तेरा कॉल जब भी आएगा मुझे तुरंत बताया मैं पाठ कर रहा हूं तो भी मैं तुझसे बात करूंगा so you know that those were instructions so just think about what he was saying it took me time to understand what he was saying he was saying he is always available and i there should not be anybody between him and us that message is not for me that's for all of us don't put anybody between you and your guru you should have direct communication direct connection with guru don't depend on me to tell you what guru is all about you should learn that yourself by meditating on guru guru is always with you do sangat with him as much as you can second he is available any time 24/7 365 days a year don't look for an auspicious time don't go to a pandit and start asking for a muhurat you know to see guru guru is there all the time every moment of our life he is there for us his doors are always open but because of our own false thinking and the belief in falsehoods our doors are closed we have to open our doors 
so we can connect with him. His doors are always open. So that's a very important message that I want to share with you. Don't put anybody between you and your guru and don't wait for an auspicious time to make a connection. Do it anytime. Do it all the time. Guru is with you in your heart and your mind. Guru is with you anyway. Even if you don't want him in your heart and mind. Even if you don't know about it. He is there because he is, he is totally committed. And he is always there to help us. So with that, I'd like to end our Sangat. You know, thanks for listening. And I hope, you know, some of the things we have shared are of some use to you. You know, it is good to share all the beautiful blessings, you know, but, uh, you know, what do you do with those blessings? I think we have to know why those blessings are there. What is, you know, what is the role of a guru in our life? What is his expectations? What is our obligations? And in the end, our life should be without fear, without worries, because we have our Guru. And all our dreams should be or would be achieved. Take one step, our Guru takes thousand steps. 